An hour, a year ago. Ali Powell had never heard of attention deficit disorder, but after reading about the symptoms last summer, well actually it was her friend, certain things started to fall into place for her. For as long as you could remember, Alison had been suffering from well, various things, she, mood, mood swings, depression, anxiety, all common uh, we learn now with ADHD sufferers. And last autumn she was finally diagnosed with the condition after a long journey. Ali's here this morning uh, along with Dr. Marius Adamu as well. Um, it was a bit of a long journey to get this diagnosed and particularly surprising because most people associate this with youngsters who don't behave in class. Yes, they do. Um, I was um, in trouble quite a bit in class, but I wasn't what you were, it, it wasn't obvious. I was, um, had a little desk on my own for talking, sent outside the door for talking. It wasn't obvious disruption. Yeah. Um, I suppose my hyperactivity manifests itself in that way. But no one really thought about looking for it in adults. It was always going to be something else wrong with you. You must have been depressed. It must have been your yeah. time of the month. There must have been something wrong yeah. with you. It is strange that um, I suppose it's always been assumed that when a child with ADHD gets to the age of 18 that they stop having ADHD. Um, but that isn't the case. And now it's, it's newly recognised in the UK that ADHD is a condition that exists within adults. But it wasn't a doctor that actually led you on this road. It was your best mate. Yeah, that's what, true. What did she say to you? She'd come across a list of the symptoms and I was just chatting one day and she said the symptoms made her think of me. So she, I said, what sort of symptoms? And she mentioned a few of the symptoms, which was enough to make me go onto the internet, and ADHDers are internet addicts as well, um, mm -hmm. and researched. And the more I researched... So when, when you were reading all this stuff, yeah, how did you feel then? Did things start oh. kind of clicking into place? I can't... It was... Over, it was be totally overwhelming. I just couldn't believe. I would read a website and I was like reading about me what, and about things my life. Like what? Oh, things. Um, well, I've had numerous jobs throughout my life, so constant career changes. Um, I'm totally very impulsive, um, very disorganised. Um, but not just. I know you do get disorganised people, but I've always said to my parents. But my brain just doesn't think that way. I can't do it. My mm -hmm. brain doesn't think, which is not a cop out. And did your parents, when you you were younger, you said you know you had so many all, in trouble at school, left with very few qualifications, yeah. you know, from job to job, nothing like you couldn't settle at anything. No. Did any of your family ever say this isn't right? You know, something's not well, right here. Well, I was adopted as a baby, and I guess I am different to my family. So I guess that it was always attributed down to the fact that I was adopted. Yeah. That's why I was different. Now we know that the differences are probably not because of that but because I do have ADHD but my parents have always been very supportive of me. So once you, you read all this stuff on the internet and going that's me, that's me, that's me, yeah. what did you do then? Well I went on forums actually and that's the best advice that I've got from people. I, I suddenly very quickly became aware that I would have problems getting diagnosed within the UK and I was given an advice, um, somebody put on a forum that there is an AD, adult ADHD expert in Swansea University and somebody else said what you need to do is think about how you approach your GP right. because you can't go in saying oh I've got ADHD oh. organs blazing, they're gonna, they don't like that today. So what I had, the advice I was given was print out the professor's details, print out a list of symptoms and mark the ones relevant to you and approach it that oh. way and that's the way I approached it and I did think about which GP I was going to go to as well and I went right. to a GP who was very interested. So you Doctor. did get the diagnosis, but yeah. why is it to, so difficult to get that diagnosis as an adult? Because, you know, as Ali was saying, often you're told it's depression. Uh, people think that ADHD stops at the age of 18. Well, the treatment stops, doesn't it? If there, if there are any kind of medication happening at 18, it's, it ends. Well, th this is quite uh, 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 a paradigm that... Uh, doesn't apply very well. For example, in other countries, like the States, it doesn't. It continues through adulthood. And somehow the idea that uh, the treatment expires at the age of 18 is something that people cannot accept. For example, if you have a, a child and they're having their treatment and they're doing very well, mm -hmm. and then they will go to university, how would you feel, or how would the person feel, if their medicine is stopped abruptly at are, that age? Are we saying that you, you know, someone like Ali, you don't develop ADHD mm later in life. She's always had it and it was just never diagnosed. You don't guess it. So anybody who, who's watching this morning who, you know, kind of over 18 with these symptoms, you don't think you've just got it. You've probably had it all your life. But it mightn't have been that's diagnosed. That's yeah. the thing. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Most people have it and they had the experiences uh, that Ali was describing. Yes. Mm. Can you cure it? 
the treatments are very good. It's not a matter of cure, it's a matter of taking the symptoms away. Yes. And when the symptoms are away with time, for a lot of people it goes away on its own. What are you going to do with Ali? Treatment. What sort mm -hmm. of treatment? Are we talking about drug treatment, medication or, or, uh, or behavioural therapy or how do you do that? The established treatments are medication and for adults there are some people who can benefit from psychological treatments but these are not widespread mm -hmm. for adults, for children they are. Is it, a, is it a step in the right direction to, once you've got the diagnosis, to accept and understand what you've got? Do you feel different I now think you know? So. I do. I, I understand myself more and I understand why I do certain things and the way that I do it. And yes, I think that is a big step in the, yeah. in the right direction. Probably a big step as well, people understanding you yeah. and what makes yeah, you Yeah, it's quite right, yeah. Yeah. What do you do now? Have you been able to harness um, the way ADHD makes you behave mm -hmm. and, and, and turn it to good. For instance, you know, you haven't been able to pin down jobs over the yeah. years and things, but have you been able to recognise, well, look, this makes me feel and behave like this and I can actually put that to some good use? Yes, I do, because with ADHD there are good points. We have the ability to hyper-focus. Hyper-focus. Um, hyper-focus. When we're interested in something, yes. we can really focus on it and nothing will put us off. And I can channel that now. Mm. I can use my hyper-focus, which is really positive. And you work in IT now, don't you? I am an IT yeah. trainer. So but that you're good at reading manuals. I then. love reading manuals. Oh, yes. <laughs> Nothing like I'm taking a good <laughs> manual to bed. Oh, <laughs> yes. See that? Pr I do not have ADHD. I know that because well, I can't read AD instructions on anything. Well, and most ADHD, I think that's a bit different, isn't it? A lot of ADHD is can't. I'm. That's a bit different for me. Is that I enjoy oh, that. Well. <laughs> Can it be hereditary in any? Because I know yes. you've got a, a young son. Yeah, it, it, it is. Yeah, it all, it's almost as heritable as the way height is, is heritable. So, parents and children uh, and their children may have ADHD. Is very well connected. Yeah. And doctor, what is it for anybody watching today saying, you know, maybe, maybe this is in my family. Maybe I've got it. Maybe somebody I know has it. What is it? What causes it? And how does it materialise? Nobody knows the exact cause. What makes it? happen. Nobody, uh, the science hasn't gone that far. There are some areas in the brain when people have scans that show that the brains of uh, adults with ADHD are different from the brains of people who don't have ADHD. But what makes the change, it, it's not something that is known. Pe people talk about cascade of events. Yes. So it is a bit in the genes, a bit in the environment, yeah. and it goes from there. Okay, okay. Well, good luck in your work. Good luck okay. with what's ahead. You're quite excited by um, treatment and how yeah. it's going to develop in the future. I am excited, especially with the nice guidelines coming out and recognising adult AD for the f ADHD for the, first, for the first time in September. And can I just mention the website for yeah. people as well, which is www.aadd.org.uk. So if you want to know yeah. any further information, and there's a forum on there, please come. Well, we can make we'll, that more yeah, simple. We'll, we'll yeah. put details of, of your website on our website. Right. So if you do need any more information on our ADHD, then at contact our website itv.com forward slash the morning thank, thank you, you both of you thank you very can much I just indeed say hello to my three of course barney. you can barney barnaby, barnaby. Yeah. barnaby. hi barney i'll be home soon <laughs> there you go lovely uh, still to come